Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with Christmas in April and I combined it with my leftovers to layouts hop for April and so I also combined it with Stash Dive Tuesday. <laughs> so uh, lots of different things going on. Um, I have this a perfect Christmas. I have one full sheet, a partial sheet, and a bunch of stickers. I have I Love Christmas. Um, stickers. I have um, like two or three different Echo Park um, stickers or puffies and then I have these dollar store um, gnomes which are super cute. So I've got like four or five different sheets of stickers and then I have this one full sheet of candy cane paper and I have this one partial it's cut apart on the back and then the snowflakes on the other side and then just some loosey-goosey scraps some branding strips and some just kind of random pieces. Nothing very big except for the one I just showed you. And I have this picture of my daughter with all the plushies and stuff at my mom and dad's house. So I have my papers. I have my leftovers, my embellishments, and my picture. So let's see how this goes. So I am really wanting to use as much of this as possible. So I'm going to use the candy cane paper as my background. And then I've got these little triangles from where I had created something. Um, I don't even know when, but I do remember having them. I think I, well, I couldn't tell you anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to put the triangles on here. And then I decided to put the green ones on going the other direction. And, um, and then I'm going to build a um, background for my picture. So I'm going to have like a paper cluster that's going to go um, behind my picture that kind of is a hodgepodge of all of these scraps. And they're going to be kind of wonky, um, not necessarily just a, you know, five and a half, uh, four and a half by six and a half or something like that. It's going to be not this wonky. I will trim this up a little. <laughs> Um, but you know, you can make these big piled clusters of paper and it doesn't have to be big. You can see that one green plaid paper is like a two by two. Um, and then that green, white, and red plaid is like an L shape. And I'm going to bring all that stuff in, um, or a lot of that in. And then I do create one more layout after this. Um, I do not show on camera with everything else from this collection paper-wise. The only thing I have left is a piece of paper big enough to probably mat a 4x6 picture. And it is that snowflake paper, I think it's, yeah, snowflake paper that has the black cut aparts on the back. And so I am just cutting this to where that red is sticking up a little higher and down a little lower than the rest of them just to kind of give it a little something extra and I'm gonna set most of these aside but I am gonna end up pulling some of them out to add to my um, cluster of, of papers so here's what it looks like right now and I'm gonna add this down here in the bottom but I have all these other little papers I mean this itty bitty little piece and I'm just gonna tuck it in down here and then this L shape, I'm going to turn it the other direction and put it over here. And then I think I might even add that green plaid and a couple other little bits and pieces too. Because I'm trying to use as much as possible. And I love the look of having all these different layers, even though all it is is this little L shape. Like you're, there's not a lot more to it, but you can't tell that the way I have this laid down. So I am going to add a couple more things um, paper-wise. Uh, so this is what was left over when I cut up the mat. Um, but there's going to be this gap right here. So I'm going to put this down first. And then I'm going to come in with this bigger piece and tuck it in. And I love the way that this looks. Um, it just kind of extenuates where the picture is. It gives me a little bit more area to work with. Because in this picture, my daughter is hiding amongst all of the nine million plushies and little toys and gadgets that my parents have at their house. Every year for Christmas, her and my dad would sit down and change out the batteries for all the different things. They talk and sing and shake their butt and do all the things. So my dad and her lined up these, all the animals 
and she got in the middle of it. And so my dad took this picture. So I thought having all the little um, people or critters or whatever on here would be very fitting. So but first I want to make like a little cluster up here in the top left corner. I have this big strip of this red paper and I actually am going to make it a little longer. But right now I'm bringing in some of the other little bits and pieces that I had sitting over there. So this little itty bitty stripe of green. I'm going to put that down and then I have another stri um, little striped paper. I can't remember which side I use. If it's the candy cane side or... I don't even remember. Oh yeah, snowflakes are on the other side. So I just put that down, but then I decided it wasn't long enough. So I pull it up and I'm going to make it a little bit longer and come over to the center space a little more. So I could put that reindeer thing there. And then I put the angel up here because of course angels fly. So it goes up at the top. And then I'm going to put the snowman's down here. I'm going to put Santa. And then of course I'm going to bring in his reindeer because all of those things are right there in that... Um, group of plushies that my daughter is hanging out with and if there were other things I would have added them I am going to come in and add one of those gnomes not that there's a gnome in this mess well I don't know there might be <laughs> my parents have all the things and then I'm going to add this word joy down here and really I'm going to kind of title the layout that because like I said and have said before because I do believe I've documented a picture of the two of them at the table working on changing out the batteries. But um, I know that this is pure joy for her because she just loved doing that with him. And the year after he passed, her and my son sat down at the kitchen table and did the same thing. So, you know, carrying on traditions and all. So I'm just going through all the sticker sheets that I have, adding a couple of things. Uh, this one just says a perfect Christmas. Um, and I think this is just a little ornament or something. And then I think I add one more thing on here from the puffies. I can't remember what it is though. Oh yes, this word phrase. I can't even remember what it says. I have done things since I did this layout. Not too many things. I had a, uh, we went to a get together at my cousin's house. That's about the extent of the things. And I've scrapbooked the other layout that I did with the remaining pieces of this. So I do pull one of the gnomes out. And I'm going to go with this red one. And I back it on white because, of course, they can you can see right through them. And all that pattern back there would have been really distracting and made it, would have made it look weird. So I backed it on white, fussy cut around it. And that is it. So I'm going to bring this up here so you can see it. Um, I did not end up putting the other one in here, but um, I did use up the rest of those papers, except for, like I said, a very small piece. So, I hope you'll go below into the description box. It will have a list of all the people hopping along with Christmas in April, as well as a list of people who are hopping along off and on with leftovers to layouts. I'm excited to have completely obliterated this collection, minus some of the stickers. And um, I'm hoping to do that with some more throughout the next week or so. So I hope you all have a fantastic day. I also hope that you'll come back and see me really soon. Use up those scraps and happy scrapping.